Hello, YouTube friends. Welcome to a 20 minute fiery practice with me, Kat Methan. So today's practice alive with Agni, drawing in that heat and that inner fire. Before we get started, if you're not already a Soul Sanctuary member and you've never heard of Soul Sanctuary, then get to know it. It is the most amazing app desktop platform out there for you, for you to deepen your connection to your movement practice, your yoga, your meditation, but also the philosophy side of yoga as well. Yoga is so much more than what we do here on our mats together. And the Soul Sanctuary is that app that's going to give you the full 360 approach to what yoga is. And so I really hope you join us. You can try it for free. There's a free trial. So make sure you click the link in the description box below and you come and join us. So before we get into it, let's just talk a little bit about Agni versus Tapas. So Tapas is one of the Niyamas, one of Patanjali's Niyamas. And Tapas can, even though it is, it's this heat um, and it's almost this, uh, this burning is what we would translate it to. But actually a lot of the time it's translated into a discipline. And we know that when we are challenged, when we are in the more fiery practices, so when we're in our inner Agni and our outer fire as well, we want to find that discipline to keep with the breath, to keep our integrity into the mat, into where we want to ground, and to really discipline ourselves into staying with what it is that we need, which is where this all-encompassing feeling of yoga comes in. Because just because we're saying that there's discipline, and there's fire, that doesn't mean to say that you have to go with every single challenge and every single option and variation that you are offered. There is challenge and there is discipline in just staying in what is true for you in the moment. And that really is even an even bigger challenge is where we can witness the ego coming in and we can still ground into what is going to serve us. So as this is alive with Agni, we are going to be bringing in that fire breath, but we're actually going to be inviting that fire breath not only into the beginning stages of our practice here, sat on our mats together, but also as we move as well. And that will come become a little bit clearer as we go on. So just grounding into your space, you can sit yourself up on a block if you wish to. Closing down the eyes and we'll just ground here into our practice together maybe rolling those shoulders back, inviting in that awareness and observation of your breath, not making any judgments, any big changes in the breath. Just allowing yourself to ground here and settle into some stillness. Noticing the belly rise, belly fall with each inhale and exhale. And maybe just coming into a little mantra of I am here or I have arrived. Can you cocoon yourself in this present moment? Can you be here in your breath, your body, knowing that the world still continues on around you? Maybe there's sounds, maybe there's smells, maybe there are different temperatures, voices around you. Can you just draw yourself into this present moment? And so we're going to enliven the body with this breath of fire, this pumping breath. If you haven't done this with me before, you can keep your eyes open and just look to me. I'm going to place my hand on my belly. It's just a really lovely self-directional cue for me to have to say, this is where I am moving the body. It's all through the nose and really you're focusing more on the exhale than you are on the inhale. The inhale is going to happen no matter what. The exhale it's this fast, sharp, heat evoking breath that we really want to draw in. And we're going to go for 40 of those and then we will drop chin to chest. We will retain the breath. If at any point you feel lightheaded, dizzy, you just take a natural breath and you just calm and you just ground again. And we'll just do two rounds of that before we make our way down onto the mat. 
So when we're ready, we'll take a releasing breath here together, inhale. Just let it go gently through the mouth. And then we take that first breath in and we go. Retain. And let it go. One more breath like that or one more round like that. Take that inhale. Just let it go and reset. Retain. And let it go. Softly opening the eyes, rolling the shoulders back and maybe just taking some circles here around through the body, pushing the spine away, making these as big as you need them to be. Just checking in with the spine, with the side body, with the heart space as it opens forwards. And going the other direction. And then coming back to neutral, bringing the hands to the outside edges of the knees and then just rolling yourself all the way down onto your back. So you can take this in stages. So option stage number one is to bring the knees up to around about 90 degree angle. To make this easier, you'll bring the knees a little bit closer to you. So we're going to take just 10 to begin with, 10 pumps of our fire breath but lifting the chest up and reaching the hands out. So we go here together. And release. So just 10 like that. And then we're going to go for 20, exactly the same. Like I say, you can bring the knees in a little bit closer just to make it easier. If it's too much, you can just place the toes down to support yourself. We lift up. Beautiful, release it in. Maybe have a little rock side to side. And then this time, either doing exactly the same again, or you're going to take one foot and tap one toe down to the mat, the other one stays up. This is really engaging the core even more, lower spine grounding into earth. Lift the chest slightly, and we'll just go for 10 here. Beautiful, switch it round. Beautiful, hug those knees in. Take a little rock side to side. Ground the feet down to the earth, feet about hip width apart. Take an inhale, lift the hips up, reach the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, lower it all the way down. Inhale, hips lift up again. Holding here with the hips lifted up, can you lift the left leg? Place it down. Keep the hips lifted. Lift the right leg. Place it down. Left. Down. Right. Down. Left. Down. Right. Down. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the arms, lower the hips down. You can just shift those knees side to side. Well done. We're going to do exactly the same again. So three on each side. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can just place the hands down by the side rather than taking them all the way up behind you. So we reach up, 
hips lift and we march those legs so we lift left and down, right and down, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, take an inhale, exhale, lower the hips down. Again, you can just shift those knees side to side. So we're gonna be rolling ourselves up to standing. So let's just practice that for a moment. Hug the knees into the chest and just rock yourself forwards and backwards because this is gonna be part of a little flow here. So you may want to use the hands to help you come up. So you may wanna have those hands down. You can also take the feet wide and reach the arms through to bring you all the way up. And then you would just take a wider leg variation when we get up to standing. Either way, I do not mind. So you're gonna bring yourself down onto your back again. And we're just gonna take one of those hip lifts. So we're gonna take an inhale, hips lift, arms reach back. Exhale, lower it all the way down. Inhale, knees draw in, you can rock back. Exhale, bring yourself up to Utkatasana. Nice, take an inhale here. Exhale, right leg goes back, left leg straightens hands to the heart space. So we're in a warrior three. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale to the other side. So left leg goes back. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, exhale, right leg back. Inhale, exhale, left leg back. We take that inhale and then with graceful control, we roll ourselves all the way back down to the mat and then ground the feet and ground the hands. And we just do exactly the same again. So we inhale, hips lift, arms lift. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, knees draw in. Exhale, rock yourself all the way up to Utkatasana. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, warrior three, other side. Sorry, I didn't tell you which leg, doesn't really matter. We do one more each way. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take those arms up again, sit it back. With graceful control, we lower all the way down to our backs, ground down through the feet. We do that one more time, we add on a little bit as we go. Inhale, hips lift. This time we're gonna march those feet, so left leg out, place it down. Right leg out, place it down. Left leg and down. Right leg and down. Lower the hips, knees come in, inhale. Exhale, rock it forwards, find Utkatasana. Taking an inhale here. Exhale, warrior three, right leg goes back. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, right leg goes back, holding here. Now you could, if you've got a block, you could grab a block underneath the left hand and then open yourself out for half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. If you wanna just hover those fingertips off, then you absolutely can. Circle the right arm all the way up, over and around. Up, over and around. For the third last time, up, over and around. And then square that hip again, come back to warrior three. Take an inhale, Utkatasana. And then we take that to the other side. So left leg goes out. Doesn't matter if you're on the opposite leg to me. Open yourself out for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. And we take those three arm circles with control here. <laughs> Embracing all of the wobbles, all of the fa falling. And then square the hip. Hands come to heart center. Left foot grounds down, reach the arms up, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, sit yourself back. This time, rather than going all the way down to your back, you're gonna to come to Navasana. 
From our Navasana, we're going to take those breath of fire again for 20. Now, you can place the hands on the knees and just have the toes down if that feels nicer for you. If not, we're going to hold out, palms facing upwards. Let's take that breath in. Grab the knees, place the toes down. Just take an inhale, lengthen through the chest. Exhale. Amazing. You're going to place the left leg down in a 90 degree angle in front of you. And then the right leg is going to go back in a 90 degree angle. You can place your hands down to blocks for a little bit of support or just fingertips down to the mat. We are going to have to lean slightly over to the left side because we're going to see if we can lift this right leg for five. You can reach the arms up to make this a little bit more challenging as well. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. This time we're going to see if we can lift the front leg for five, four, three, two, and one. From here, maybe you do this with the arms up, maybe you keep them down. You're gonna move yourself all the way through center so then we end up on the other side and we've now got the right leg in front and the left leg behind and we do exactly the same again. So back leg lifts first for five, four, three, two, one, reset. Front leg for five, four, three, two, one, amazing. Bring it all the way through center. Stay in the center. Lengthen the legs all the way out. We'll just take a nice little breath here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk the hands forwards. Have a little fold here. Keep those legs nice and active. Hmm. Two more breaths. Oh, and then inhale, lifting all the way up. You're going to swing that right leg around all the way to the front of the mat. You're going to bring the knees in. We're going to roll ourselves back and you're going to roll yourself from here back to, oh yes, Utkatasana. I promise it will be over soon. Roll it back. <laughs> Utkatasana. Get super low, Ardha Utkatasana. So take an interlace with the hands. Push the hands away from you. Maybe belly comes towards the thighs here. Take a nice big breath in, and then you're gonna take an inhale and then exhale straight away to half moon. Inhale, Ardha Utkatasana, and then take it open to the other side, half moon. <laughs> all of the wobbling, all of the food, the falling. Reach it out again, dip it low, and then half moon. Last time on the other side, interlace those hands, push it out, dip it low and reach it out this time we come back to the Ardha Utkatasana two breaths here inhale exhale inhale exhale place the hands down heel toe the feet slightly we're going to take Bhuja Pindasana so seeing if we can hover our feet off the ground with this arm pressure arm balance Going to bring the hands back in line with the heel. So heel of the hand either behind or in line with the heel of the foot. Bend the elbows. Sit the bottom on the elbows. Hug the knees into the shoulders. Look up. Start to lift your chest. Just lift your chest. As by lifting your chest, your bottom will drop. Maybe you hook those feet in front of you and maybe you smile. And release yourself all the way down. Reach those legs out in front and just give them a little bit of a shake. Well done. Ah, releasing breath here. Reach those arms out long, slowly lowering yourself all the way down to the earth. Placing the hands down by the side, either both legs together or one leg at a time, lifting the legs up to the sky. And then from here, you're gonna see if five times, you can just a tiny amount lift the hips off the ground. So for one, two, three, 
four and five. Incredible. Super slowly, either one leg at a time or both legs together. Lower the legs all the way down. If you can, come all the way up to seated here. If you can't, you can just stay laying down because we're going to go back there right now. Lowering it all the way down. Hands come down, either one leg or both legs lift up. And we take those five tiny little pelvic tilts here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the feet down. Take the arms out into cactus or T-shape and take the feet as wide as the mat and then just drop the knees over to the left side, head over to the right. So just a really relaxed supine twist here. Just taking a breath. And then coming back through center. Knees drop over to the right. Again, just keeping those feet open. Head can go over to the left. Eyes closed. And then coming back through center. I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together. And then just draw the hands onto the ankles or onto the feet. And then just hug the, the heels in towards the pelvis. So the knees are coming out to the side. So we're in a Baddha but we've lifted the feet off the ground. And you can just have a little kind of swish and a wiggle here. Maybe there is something else like a happy baby that you're feeling called to do. Just having a final few breaths. And then you're going to draw those knees into the chest. Rock yourself up to seated and just ground into your seat in a comfortable position. Placing one hand on top of the other over the heart space. Eyes are closed. Grounding down into all parts of your body, earthing, rooting, feeling the energy rise, some energy that you cultivated here, your inner fire, weaving through your outer fire, bringing you into this feeling of strength, of grace, and of passion. Feel enlivened by the feeling that you created here. Feel a sense of pride for your body, for this community of people practicing together. And we'll seal this practice with one big releasing breath. Take an inhale. Let it go. Thank you all so, so much. I hope that you love that. I hope that you're feeling fiery and warm. And I hope more than anything that you were able to honor your own discipline, what discipline would mean for you in a practice like that. And know as always that your yoga really starts when you leave the mat. This is the warm up. Life itself is where the yoga really, really comes into practice of how we interact, how we connect, how we show up for ourselves. So thank you so much. And I will see you for another practice very soon. Bye bye. Like I said at the start, if you are not already a Soul Sanctuary member, then what are you waiting for? We have got the most incredible practices, over 600 videos. It is amazing. The community love it. Just go even and have a look on the App Store and read the reviews for a non-biased opinion on how amazing it is. If you love practicing with me on YouTube, uh, it would be incredible if you came and supported me over on Soul Sanctuary as well. So thank you so much and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.